Hey everyone, it's me, Goku. Don't forget to subscribe to Unreal and Gaming. Here, you'll find the latest Dragon Ball news and content. Also, don't forget to like the video and follow Unreal on both Instagram and Twitter. Kakarot! You Kakarot, you will be the first to turn on notifications. Then give this video a like right now, or else I'll destroy you! <laughs> With Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 83 now officially in the history books, the ultimate battle for survival continues to be waged on planet Sorel, as the memories of Bardock's battle with Gas reveals more clues on how Bardock was able to put Gas down for good. With Bardock alone and nobody to turn to for help, the million dollar question that everyone is asking is what was Bardock able to do to stop Gas from ending his life in battle, and will Goku and Vegeta be able to learn anything important enough that will help them overcome Gas once he inevitably ends up coming back onto planet Sorel. As a quick reminder before we go deeper into this video, if you just so happen to be new to the channel and have a love and passion for all things Dragon Ball and anime related, then I do encourage you guys to go on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to never miss a single video posted on the channel, as well as giving this video a big fat thumbs up by slapping that like button down below. If you simply enjoy the content being shown within the Dragon Ball Super manga and are excited to see what the overall direction of Dragon Ball Super is going to be going forward, and if you would like to learn more and catch up on the previous Dragon Ball Super manga chapters, then be sure to go on ahead and click down below in the description box in checking out the official Dragon Ball Super manga playlist, to where not only would you be able to catch up on all of the previous manga chapters that you guys may have missed, but you could also check out some of the previous moments that have unfolded and which had brought us to this very moment in time, so with that being said, I want to thank you all so much for your time, thank you all so much for your support, and now let's dive straight into the video. <music> As we kick off Dragon Ball Super manga chapter number 83 entitled Bardock vs. Gas 2, with Gas being shown creating a mace and anticipating on what Bardock's next move was going to be, as with Bardock shown having to stand in the front line in defending both Monaito and Granola, as rightfully so with Monaito being shown having to fear for his own life as well as the life of Granola, it was from that point on where Monaito went on to address Bardock by telling him, Bardock will take what fate hands us, you've done enough, he says, there's no reason for you to lay down your life here, run and save yourself, with Bardock asking, what? what That's crazy! As Gas went on to chime in, I should mention, you could flee right now, but the Saiyans aren't fated to last much longer anyway. Oh yeah, Bardock asks? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing much, Gas responds. Just something I heard from Elect. <laughs> I've heard enough cryptic crap out of you, Bardock shouts. It's you and your gang who've got no future, Bardock shouts. As it was only right then and there where we get to see how Bardock had gone in throwing an energy blast directly at Gas, as with Gas being shown having to be quick enough in getting out of the way, and from there going as far as to use that exact mace that he had just created as a means of having having to now swing that directly down on Bardock, Bardock from that point on had no other choice but to block it, but even then, as soon as Gas's mace had gone in making contact with Bardock, we only then get to see how the sheer force of this collision alone was not only strong enough in causing Bardock's entire body to shake, but from that point on, Bardock had gone in spitting out blood, as of course he was doing his best, in trying to stabilize himself for the time being until it was during this collision where Bardock had gone in grabbing onto the mace, and from there being shown having to throw gas up in the air, which inevitably had launched gas deep into the Cerulean forest as Bardock went on to turn towards Monaito by shouting, Listen closely, this is my fight now! You two are in the way, so get out of here! To where as soon as Bardock from that point on had gone in making his way towards the forest, instead of getting out of dodge, Monaito instead had to 
decided to just stand there, as we then observe how both Bardock and Gas are now further engaging within the forest, as with Gas appearing to now be annoyed by this, that's when Gas went on to tell him, your blows feel like pinpricks against my kaching. Enough of these irritating sorry excuse for attacks, he shouts, I said enough! To where it was from that point on where we get to see how Gas's body was beginning to swell, in using somewhat of an electric attack and shocking Bardock in place, which from there had gone in causing Bardock to hit the ground below, that's when Gas went on to tell him, I cannot afford to waste any more time on you. You wouldn't mind if I unleash a bit of my inner nature, would you? As it was during this moment where we get to see how Monaito had finally listened to Bardock in having to run and make his way back home, as he was not only shown having to place Granola's unconscious body on the bed, but he had also gone in searching for the Cerulean Dragon Balls, to where as soon as Monaito had found them, he then went on to respond, using the Dragon Balls for our own benefit is forbidden, but it should be okay if my wish helps someone from another planet, he says. As all the while with Monaito trying to make up his mind, the dumbass, we then get to see how Bardock was getting smashed within the Cerulean Forest, as Gas wasn't only shown having to punch Bardock's scouter off of his head, but he further went on to send Bardock flying, as Bardock from that point went on to stand back up by responding, Ah, oh, damn it, so, your kind can adjust their power levels, huh? Oh, this is far from the full extent of the power slumbering within me, Gas says. I suppose you've lost the will to fight back now, with Bardock responding, heh. <laughs> You wish. Nothing gets my blood pumping like a powerful foe, he adds. But even then, Gas had enough because he thinks that Bardock is taking him for a fool, which inevitably resulted in Gas being shown having to dash directly towards Bardock and kicking him in the stomach by telling him, ENOUGH! Which from that point on, now Gas was shown being in complete control of this battle because as soon as he was then shown having to double axe handle Bardock's body into the distance, it was only after Bardock's body had gone in smashing into the cliffside where we then get to see how the Cerulean Dragon Tarambo was shown in the distance, as Monaito had used this opportunity in summoning Tarambo in making a wish, as Tarambo went on to ask, State your wish. If it's within my power, your single wish is my command. With Monaito responding, uh, Send Bardock back to his home planet, he says. As with the dragon shown patiently waiting, Bardock all the while is getting stomped out by gas within the forest. As there really doesn't appear to be any sign of Bardock having to bounce back from this, it was only during that moment where Tarambo went on to contact Bardock by telling him, Hear me, Bardock. It is Monaito's wish that I should transport you to your home planet Vegeta. Wh what? Bardock says? Whose voice is this? I am the wish-granting dragon known as Tarambo. As with Gas having to oversee that Bardock seemingly enough is now talking to himself, he appears to be a bit confused by this as Gas went on to ask, who is he speaking to? But then, it was only after having to spot the dragon for himself where Gas went on to ask, what? What is that? As lo and behold, finally, Tarambo had an answer. As Tarambo went on to tell Monaito, I am afraid he has refused. What? Monaito asks. As we then go back to Bardock, who was shown once again attempting to attack Gas, that's when Bardock went on to clinch his fist by responding, A Saiyan would rather die than run from an enemy, he shouts. As Bardock from that point on was shown having to make contact with Gas having to block it, there seemed to have appeared to be a bit of hope for Bardock during that moment, as Gas went on to respond, Your attacks barely tickle. Like I said, Gas shouts, as he then followed up by being shown having to kick Bardock in the sky, to where as soon as Bardock had once again fallen back down on the ground, we then see how instead of Tarambo contacting Bardock, it was now Monaito, as Monaito went on to tell him, listen Bardock, so it's you this time Monaito, Bardock asks, I sure wish you wouldn't put voices in my head, you showed your real moral fiber by saving us back there, Monaito says, but that was more than enough, I've got no doubt that the kindness in your heart is going to save someone else someday, that's why you need to live, he shouts, <laughs> sorry, but I don't take orders from anyone, Bardock adds, and I'm not leaving this place until I've beaten him. What's it going to take to make you see reason, Monaito asks. Fine, then tell me, is there any other wish that I could make for you? I'm just trying to help you, with Bardock responding, what's this all about anyway? Are you making a wish on a shooting star or something? <laughs> but sure, I'd wish that my sons, plural Goku and Raditz, end up thriving. As from that point on, once again, through sheer determination alone, Bardock 
was shown having to once again dash in attacking gas again as all the while in the distance all of the commotion caused had seemingly gathered the heater's attention to where as soon as oil was then shown turning around that's when oil went on to comment this is really dragging on i guess gas has met his match hey maki says what's that weird glow over there huh i don't know oil says that isn't even where the fight's going down but it is near the old namekian's hut alex says to where as the two dragon balls were then shown having to split off in the sky that's when oil went on to respond uh i wish for tasty food i wish for tasty food I wish for quit it, you idiot, Maki says. Those probably aren't shooting stars. I'm curious now, Alex says. Let me check it out. You two go ahead and prep to greet Frieza's ship. Sure, says Maki in oil. Yeah, he has the right idea, Monaito goes on to say to himself. A wish is a way to create hope for the future. Selfish wishes can only bring about doom. And I was about to make a grave mistake, he adds. I'm meant to protect what hope we've got left with all I've got, he adds. As once again when going back to Gas and Bardock, Gas was then shown having to fire several energy blasts directly at Bardock, with Bardock shown having to fly backwards in his best attempts of having to avoid them, but unfortunately enough for Bardock, these attacks actually had gone in making contact to where there was no other way to better describe this outside of Bardock. Bardock literally being dragged all throughout the forest, because as soon as Bardock's body had gone tumbling and bumbling around within it, to his own horror, Bardock had then seen how multiple energy blasts were then being shown having to make its way towards him, as they had finally gone and making contact as gas had went on to float on down below and touching the ground, to where as soon as the dust and smoke began to settle, that was when gas had noticed that in fact Bardock was indeed still alive, which really went on to irritate gas that much more, as gas went on to comment, you've overstaged you're welcome. As from that point on, Gas did not waste any more time, so instead, he decided to walk on over and grabbing onto Bardock's tail, and from there being shown swinging Bardock and slamming his body on the ground over and over and over again, which of course, if you're probably asking, Gas already knows that indeed the Saiyans can transform into giant grade apes, so what Gas had attempted to do was to actually do his best in doing what he could to rip Bardock's tail off, because as soon as he had gone, and from there having to hold onto Bardock's tail and spark and kicking Bardock in the spine, it was within that moment where we finally got to see how indeed Gas had managed to rip Bardock's tail off. With Bardock now being in such a vulnerable state, that's when Gas went on to tell him, no more giant ape form for you now. It's over, Saiyan. Prepare to die. And Gas indeed did not waste any time following this, because as soon as Gas had gone to once again create another weapon which just so happens to be that of a spear, it was during this point in time where Gas had all already assumed victory, and from there being shown throwing the spear directly at Bardock, in which Bardock had no means of escaping this, but to Bardock's shock as well as my own, out of nowhere, Monaito had gone in stepping in front of Bardock, and from there being shown having to take the spear head on as the spear had gone in impaling his shoulder, this was probably the first time that Monaito's character was ever shown having to be actually useful, as even Bardock himself went on to put this into question by asking, why do you sorry about before, Monaito? says, but now I'm ready to protect Granola, no matter what, so do me a favor and win this one for us, Bardock. And Gas is pissed, because as Gas's blood was beginning to boil, the last thing that Gas had said before having to go absolutely berserk was at every turn, you two just insist on disrupting my work. As both Monaito and Bardock could not believe as to what Gas had just done, but before they could even react, Gas had already gone in swooping on in in his attempts of having to punch Monaito, but instead Gas ends up grazing Bardock in the spot again as Bardock had jumped in the way in saving Monaito, which once again proved to be effortless because Monaito's body had gone in crashing into the cliffside as Bardock went on to shout for his name but before he could even do anything, Gas had already gone in grabbing Bardock by the throat and hoisting him up by telling him, the Namekian you sought to protect is gone and I will soon track down and kill the child. As you die, 
know that you have failed to protect anyone. That's not your call to make, Bardock says, and I'm not dying before I've beaten you. As we then see how Bardock had opened up his palm in being shown having to create what seemingly looked as though an energy blast, as soon as the energy blast itself had gone in making contact and creating a massive explosion, at first Gas didn't seem phased by this as through the smoke we then see how Bardock had gone in swooping on in and being shown having to punch Gas in the face in repeatedly attacking Gas over and over and over again until it was from there where Bardock was shown having to kick Gas out in the distance to remind you this is supposed to be Gas's 100% full power and as a means of actually having to protect someone Bardock was able to hold his own momentarily that is of course until Gas had gone in powering up once again as Gas went on to ask him what did you hope to achieve? Why fight a battle you can't win? Is this atonement as you face death? Are you atoning for the sins of all Saiyans by protecting the child? No, Bardock says. Revenge then, giving into your rage over us killing the Namekian and the Sorellian women? Wrong again, Bardock tells Gas. Then why? Why fight? What is running through your skull as you do battle? Gas shouts. To where within that moment, as Gas was shown having to charge directly at Bardock, all of a sudden there appeared to be a mysterious aura that had enveloped Bardock's body, to where Bardock was in fact able to from that point on stop Gas's attack, with Gas being taken back by this completely, that's when Bardock went on to ask him, isn't it obvious by now? In a life and death battle, what sort of idiot would think about anything less besides victory? To where once again through sheer focus and determination, Bardock had gone in punching Gas directly in the stomach with such tremendous amounts of force that Gas was at this point appearing to be hurt, as this was the opportunity that Bardock was looking for, that's when he went on to tell Gas, I fight when there's an enemy I want to beat down. Nothing more to it, he says. To where as Bardock was then shown having to place his hand on Gas's stomach, Bardock from that point on had gone in blasting Gas into the distance, with Gas visibly being shown having to clutch onto his stomach. That's when he went on to respond, How? How are you doing this, you Saiyans? have no ascended states besides the great ape. You're ignorant, Bardock says, and that's my fault? Nah. See, we Saiyans have a way of growing and evolving every time we push past our limits, he says. That's, that's absurd, Gas shouts. I represent a limit that no lonely Saiyan can surpass. I cannot be, he shouts, and as soon as Bardock had once again gone in kicking and punching gas in the face, as all the while with the leg having to observe this, it was clear at this point that Bardock had gained the advantage in being the one that was now fully in control of this battle as Alec went on to comment, Gah. He went and let his inner nature loose, as right before Gas could do anything more in clutching onto his head, with Bardock being shown having to float above him, he had then gone in creating an energy blast as Bardock went on to shout, I'm ending this, which indeed Bardock had, because the moment Bardock had gone in firing this gigantic blast down on Gas, this blast alone had overtaken Gas completely to where as the smoke and the dust began to settle, the once known berserkered state that we have just seen Gas in was no longer there, so instead, Gas had now reverted back down to his little form as he was laid out within the crater below, with Bardock also being shown having to be extremely exhausted in hitting the ground below, it was only from that point on where out of nowhere Alec had gone in making his presence known, by from there being shown having to step forward and touching on down in front of Gas by responding, I didn't think you'd lose control after unleashing yourself. A real shame. We'll have to double down on training, he says. As right before he had gone in picking his brother up, he had then gone to notice that Bardock was in fact squirming down on the ground and yet again still being shown having to be alive with Alec asking, he's still alive? Really? I I thought you were loyal to Frieza, Bardock says. When it comes to business, there's the hand that you show and the hand that you don't, Alex says. Speaking of, your kind doesn't even know what Frieza is really planning, right? Uh-huh. What, Bardock asks? <laughs> you Saiyans are such gullible saps. While you're in a daze playing catch-up, don't be surprised if a meteor drops on your head. Of course, alluding to the destruction of planet Vegeta, that's when Bardock went on to stand back up by responding, uh, explain, what do you mean? Wouldn't you like to know, Alex says, well, how about 
Nah. To where shockingly enough, as soon as Lek had gone in drawing his gun and blasting Bardock in the shoulder, that was when Bardock's body had gone in falling off of the cliff and down into another forest below, to where Alex seemed to be annoyed by this as Alex responds, I missed. As he had then gone in walking towards the edge, as right before having to fire down below, all of a sudden he then had a radio message from Maki and Oil, as Alex went on to ask, what Maki? Frieza's ship is incoming, get your butt over here, she says. Fine. I'll be right there, Alex says. But right before actually doing so, Alec had gone in firing multiple shots down within the forest, in doing what he could in his best attempts of having to kill Bardock, to where just before Alec had left, that's when he went on to respond, whatever, he doesn't need my help to die after all of that anyway. And as soon as Alec had gone in grabbing gas and then having to leave, Bardock's body was shown on the floor, he's hurt, he's injured, there seemingly appears to be no way that Bardock could have possibly survived this until Monai Naito was shown having to emerge from the rubble and slowly making his way towards Bardock, in which as he did, it was Monaito's duty to actually do something about it as Monaito went on to respond with, Where's Bardock? Th there! Bardock! Are you still alive? I'd ask you the same thing, Monaito Bardock says. Takes more than that to put a Namekian down, Monaito claims. You don't say. Good. I take it that the Sorellian kid is okay too? Yep, Monaito says. He is. Those thugs left us for dead and headed off, he claims. You've won the battle, Bardock. And as Bardock's scouter was then shown having to slowly shut down, as it was only then during that moment where Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter number 83 entitled Gas vs. Bardock 2 then comes to a close. Now, it seemingly appears as though the method that Bardock had used in getting the better of Gas was to employ sheer determination no matter the outcome in doing what he needed to do in making sure that in some way way somehow he was going to get the victory over him, which if sheer determination and focused fighting prowess was the method in which Bardock had used in beating Gas, then it almost kind of resembles that of what Jiren had done during the Tournament of Power because it was described and elaborated several times that it was due to sheer determination himself in what led Jiren in fighting off against several of Universe 7's warriors by himself in what had drove Jiren in becoming stronger along the way, so it's kind of a similar method being borrowed here where Bardock knew that he was on the receiving end of a beatdown, but due to the fact that he was not willing to go down by any means, he dug on deep down below within him in remembering who he was as a Saiyan warrior, which ultimately meant that Saiyan warriors don't simply cower down from a fight, so instead, it's going to be do or die no matter the outcome. So in the comment section below, what I want to know from you guys are three things, that being number one, on a scale of one to five, with one being absolutely garbage, and with five being outstandingly incredible, what would you guys rate Dragon Ball? Super Manga chapter number 83 on a scale of 1 to 5. Question number 2 is now that we understand that Bardock had used sheer determination and a focused fighting prowess to get the better of Gas, then what do you think the outcome is going to be with Goku having to battle Gas again once he inevitably arrives back onto planet Sorel? And question number 3 is what do you think the outcome is going to be by the very end of this? Because I don't see Goku actually going as far as to kill Gas, but I can definitely see a situation arising to where Alec ends up doing it instead, only because, based on Gas's own track record, he only looks as though to be letting his brother down time and time again, so I don't think that Alec is going to stand for this, especially by the very end once Goku inevitably ends up beating Gas. so I want to know your thoughts as to where you think this is going to go once Gas and Goku end up clashing again down in the comment section below, because what I also found to be really interesting about this manga chapter was seeing how Alec's character remained consistent, in a sense where time and time again you kept on seeing how Alec had used his gun in murdering Granola's mom, in almost having to murder Granola himself in the present timeline, and now even going as far as to see how he even almost went as far as to kill Bardock in the process, so everything thus far with Alex's character has been consistent, which I really do enjoy, but also, this now puts into question so many things, especially with the way he's treating the heaters, which I cannot wait to see the outcome of how this is going to turn out, especially once he ends up revealing what his true motives are after, of course, the battle with Goku and Gas comes to a close. So again, leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all so much for your time. To where, as always, if you guys just so happen to be new to this channel and of course love Dragon Ball and anime, then I do encourage you guys to go on over and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon. That way you guys never miss a single video that's posted onto this channel. On top of giving this video a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button down below if you guys enjoyed, tune back in for more. There's no doubt that I think that the next battle involving Gas and our heroes will be the last, but I think 
think it's safe to say there's more to come, especially if Alec is not dealt with. So again, thank you all so much. I appreciate you guys for being here. Tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you down in the comment section below and in the next video. Take it easy, guys, and have a great day. Peace. Hello. Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unrelent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell. Me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video. <laughs>